Hey, question six, let's do this thing. We're moving on to stats. The table below is a cumulative frequency table that summarizes the ages of people that attended a music concert. Cumulative frequency, that is such an important word. How many people who attended the music concert were older than 15, but younger than or equal to 30 years old? So it's basically saying, how many people were there in this category? Now it's very, very tempting to just say 28, but that would be wrong because it is a cumulative frequency, right? If you wanted to just do the frequency, the frequency of each of these um, different intervals, this would be 12, this would be 16, and this would be 22 because we want to strip out the amount of people that are actually in the previous categories, right? So this 28 incorporates a 12. So strip out the 12, there's only 16 that are in there, and then there are 12, there are 22 that are in that last category, and there are 50 in total, right? So how many people are in that second category? 16, right? 16 people, right? That's why you might be thinking, oh, this question's easy, but so many students get these kind of questions wrong because they don't understand the words that are being used, okay? Don't always think with statistics that it's easy peasy. It can be very tricky sometimes. Okay, let's now move on to the next question. Refer to the cumulative frequency curve, also known as OGIVE, representing test results below. Okay, so here's the test results, and this is the number of people. So there's 80 people in total, that's important, and the best mark they could get was 60. Okay, so someone, did someone get 60? Yo, good job. Okay, Let's now look at the questions. It says, show on the graph where you would find the median, the middle, right? The median test result, okay? So the median test result, right, would be, the middle test result would kind of be where it's 50%, right? So 50% is gonna be where this 40 is, right? Because 40 is halfway through 90 and we want the middle, right? So that's why we're looking at 40. So it's kind of, it's over here, right? So it's so showing the graph where you find the median results. And the median results, I think, is probably like 32, right? Um, but I just drew a little arrow because it should show in the graph, right? So it's kind of looking like it's over there. Okay. Then it says, determine the interquartile range. Now, Interquartile range equals Q3 minus Q1. Q3 is 75% the way through the distribution, and Q1 is 25%. Now, right, what is 75% times 80? Oh, what am I doing wrong? Oh, sorry. Times 80. So this is going to be Q3. What is 25% of 80? It's going to be 20. So, the interquartile range, what is Q3 over here? It's probably around about 38, right? And Q1 is exactly 20, okay? So, the interquartile range is 18, okay? So, it's important, right, to remember what these different things mean, right? Sometimes you're given a box and whisker, that sort of thing. But here, we're just using an OGIVE, okay? So the answer here is 18. Okay, let's now, I'm just gonna move stuff so that you can see what I'm writing. Okay, cool, let's now move on to the next question. Okay, so we're given this table of data. It says, for the data in the table below, uh, uh, what? for the data in the table below, the line of best fit is y equals a plus bx, okay? Calculate the values of A and B. Okay, let's do this on our calculator. Okay, you should be able to do this. Go to two, okay, wait. Go set up, right, press two, we're doing stat, and then go to two, because that's what we're looking for, the line of best fit. Put in all our X values, so it's 22, 31, 40, 24, 42, no problem, and then put in your Y values, 43, 58, 81, 45, 80, perfect. Okay, you go like that, you go shift, stat, okay, look what I did, shift, stat, then we want to go to our regression line, right, because this is a form of regression, and then we want to find out what A is. So A, I'm getting as negative 
five, seven. Okay, shift, stat. Again, regression line, go to B. It's B is going to be 2.01. Did they tell us to round off? No, they didn't. Um, I think that's fine. You could probably round off to one decimal place if you want to, but that's all right. Either way, it's correct. Okay. Important here is to know how to use your calculator. It says, if the correlation coefficient is 0 0.99, Explain why it is not why why it is not a wise idea to make a prediction for y if x is a, is equal to two thirty. Well, the obvious answer here is that two thirty isn't within our data. Do you see that two thirty would be sitting outside our data? So it's a form of extrapolation, right? So extrapolation always has a risk, right? Because you don't We know that the the relationship that we've um got here. Um, that we have calculated works for inside our data but outside our data we don't actually know like there could be something vastly different right so we're going to say the it would be extrapolation extrapolation outside of our data set okay uh, of our data set used okay and that is always it's going to be a little bit not unwise, but they're always going to be. It's going to be a bit variable or a little bit untrustworthy. Okay, let's 